How's it go guys, XC here with a very important, very special video. Um, luckily for a lot of us, we are now finally getting to see some cards from Resurgence. If you don't know what that is, that is the second set of the Bakugan TCG. Uh, the, the first thing we've had for a while, we've been making decks and all this stuff, and uh, I was, us specifically, <laughs> me and my friends have been craving new cards, and thank, thank you to Ruben Sains here. Uh, he's only got 61 subscribers. Y'all go help him out, please. Go subscribe to his channel, because literally 11 minutes ago, he's uploading more cards on his channel. He got Resurgence early. He bought two booster boxes, and I don't know if he bought more, because I watched these two videos earlier and saw all the new cards and everything, and it's it's fantastic. Um, in this video, I'm only going to show you all a couple snippets of some things that I thought were kind of important that I need to bring to the public. Uh, but if you want to see the rest of the set, which pretty much you get to see everything by watching this guy's videos, go check him out and subscribe to this guy's channel, please. All right. Um, so, uh, other than that, <laughs> it's time to go look at this stuff because some of it's pretty cool. Um, there's uh, a couple different changes to the game that are going to be happening. Not big changes, but... Um, playstyle differences that might happen or uh, ways of thinking about certain cards that might be happening, okay? Uh, so I'm going to cut and uh, get me some images here to pull up so we can talk about them, right? Here we go. Alright guys, and I'm back here. And the first thing we have here is a Diamond Dragonoid Ultra Pyrus card. So, um, we are going to be getting a Diamondoid... Uh, a Diamondoid? What is that? <laughs> a Diamond Dragonoid Ultra uh, figure. Um, this is a 9 cost, of course it's a diamond, this is going to happen, uh, diamonds usually aren't playable, but 1800 B power, that's a lot, alright, and 12 attack, if you can get this off, like pulling it off a of Dan or something, and if you have Fury, you have double strike with this guy, that's insane, it's 24 damage, that's really cool, it's really interesting, um, again, I only kind of pulled out the images of some of the interesting cards, and I left a lot, <laughs> I left a lot, the guy has all the cards, basically. Um, so I have like 12 things here that we're going to be looking at. Uh, Diamond Dragonoid Ultra is looking real nice. Alright, moving on. Uh, can I move on? Do I have to zoom out? How do you work a computer? Anybody Anybody know that? Alright, here we go. Can I not just go next? Hold on. Alright, here we go. I figured out my computer. <laughs> I don't know how the Microsoft Pictures thing works. But here we go. So, this is Estrada. Um, obviously, the Strata we have is Aquas. And this one is a 3 cost. Um, so, what they're going to be doing is just giving heroes uh, the same name, uh, but giving them different cards with different effects and stuff. Because there is also a Dan Kuzo here, uh, with Dragonoid in the back behind him. But obviously, this one just gives you Double Strike. Um, your Bakugan get Double Strike, all of them. Uh, and it's a 4 cost. Uh, so, um, I don't know how that's going to work. If it's going to be like Pokemon, where you can only have uh, so many cards with a certain name. So, like in Pokemon, if you have... A Pikachu, you can only have four Pikachus, no matter if you have four different Pikachus, alright? I don't know if we can only have four Dans, or if we can have eight Dans, or, or well, six, I guess, sorry, because of the, uh, how they do it. But, um, so, we're going to be getting alternate uh, character arts. I thought that was cool. So, the Strata here, a three cost, and your heroes cost two less to play. Um, so, in this set, it looks like they're trying to push some hero support a little bit, um, but... It's going to take some testing to see if it actually really works, and it, there's not really an clear idea yet of what a hero deck necessarily needs to be like you have all the heroes out but then what do you do you know um i have a buddy who made one that's pretty nasty uh that actually can use leah can actually use uh magnus and uh, you'll be seeing it on the channel here soon uh but it's it's kind of funny but I, I already looked at a lot of these cards that i was watching that guy's uh videos and uh just kind of brainstorming things for that so moving on here uh, here's a new Ventus card called Stoneblade. It's a one cost, and it gives you two attack. Um, but if that Bakugan is holding a Green Fist, you energize this uncharged. So, I chose this one to pull out because a lot of the cards in the set are making you pay attention to what someone is holding. And at, when I mean that, I mean whatever core that Bakugan is holding. So this one is saying if they have a Green Fist, you get a, se a separate effect. In this set, which I'll pull out here in a second... Um, there are some flip cards that use this that I think are actually going to make the flip cards that are not the free ones a lot more viable. And we'll talk about that when I get to it. But here's a new Ventus card, Stone Blade. I love the artwork. It's just a giant sword coming out of the forest or something. Pretty cool. So, moving on here. Um, Riptide. It's a four cost. Uh, it is an action card. I think this is the uh, super rare. Yeah. Um, and it says... 
Uh, you must re-roll your Bakugan. You must re-roll your Bakugan. If you open on the re-roll, that Bakugan gets 500 B power, and you may draw two cards. So, um, this set, hero support, um, paying attention to what the opponent's Bakugan is holding, and also this re-roll mechanic. There's a ton of cards in this set that say something about re-roll. A lot of Bakugan just have a plain, you may re-roll this Bakugan once per turn on them. Uh, we saw it with WebM a long time ago when they kind of previewed that, um, and it, it, it spread to the rest of the set because a lot of character cards have that, or yeah, character cards have that as an ability on them. And then also we have these action cards that give it to you. And normally uh, there's this card and a couple other ones that I saw, I think, that you must reroll. And then if you get the reroll, like if you open on the reroll, you get another ability or another uh, power or whatever, buff or something. Um, I think it's really interesting. Uh, they're, ma they're making you. Uh, use the reroll mechanic, you know. Um, I don't know. It, we haven't had to play that way yet, so I don't know necessarily how this stuff is going to work. But it's very interesting to look at. And I guess I could be zooming in on this stuff. Oh, 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 oh. All right, let's move on to some new Evos. All right, so Titan Nilius Ultra in Chaos. Uh, it's a six cost, 1100 B power, evolves from Ultra Nilius in seven attack. Domination, still there for Chaos. If your Bakugan are holding the most Baku cores, this costs mm, less to play. <laughs> Everyone who's seen this so far has seemed to say that this is another misprint on a Chaos Nilius. Uh, because you remember on uh, Titan Nilius from the first set, uh, it said something about Fangzor. You could put the core that you get on Fangzor. No, that was a misprint. And they didn't tell us how much energy this costs less to play. So, um... My thought is that it's going to be two, so then it's like a four cost. Um, maybe three, then it's a three cost. I don't know. Uh, but um, I guess post in the comments what you think. I don't know. We don't know. It's a misprint. They're going to have to tell us. Uh, and I'm sure we're going to be getting that as soon as that set drops. Uh, because it's out early now, so there's plenty of time to talk about it. Uh, but here we go. Moving on. Hyper Pegatrix Ultra. Uh, so we don't have Pegatrix Ultra yet. And it's already been confirmed that Pegatrix Ultra is not coming out in the wave three so this is kind of awkward because it's a two cost for 500 b it evolves from ultra pegatrix and it's a seven attack if this has two or more baku cores attached to it plus 500 b power okay so let's say you play this with some sort of a blue shield deck roll out and hit that blue shield get you a consort go grab you another blue shield and then you get 500 B power on top of that. This thing is a monster um, for a two cost. Uh, so I don't remember what cost consort, consorts three. So turn three, you could have a huge, huge Bakugan to play with here. Um, it really sucks that we're not getting Pegatrix Ultra for a while. Um, but when it does come out, I think, it, it, just reading it and looking at it and thinking about it, it looks pretty insane so um get a good look at it here the art's pretty cool um but yeah i think this card is actually something really special um just first first glance it, it's something that we don't have for sure <laughs> it, it you know it's it's reminiscent of titan Nilius a little bit uh but a, a lot more b power i think or close to it because it's 500 but anyway um enough about him very interesting i like it a lot but let's keep moving on so, Titan Tertonium Ultra. This thing is cool. Let's look at the art real quick. It's uh, something special. It's a big spiky boy with uh, maces or spiky cannonballs for hands. I don't know. It's pretty insane. <laughs> I like it. He's got a spike on his mouth. I don't know how he really deals with that, but it's kind of cool looking. And some tusks coming out the side. And a spike mohawk. So, this is a spiky turtle boy. Um, Titan Tritonium Ultra, this is a 4 cost, it is darkest, this is also a Bakugan Elite, uh, as you can tell by the spikes and stuff coming out the side of the card, really neat. Uh, the Elites in this set, guys, look awesome. I'm only going to show you maybe two uh, with the pictures I pulled out, go watch his videos, uh, I keep forgetting his name, Ruben, Ruben's the man, go watch Ruben's videos, okay, because... <laughs> It's just insane to see these cards. A thousand B power evolves from evolves from Tritonium Ultra Darkus, and fifteen attack. When you play this, you must discard your hand. So, play this with Pyrus, and you're going to play him, 
get your hand down do whatever you want to do hope you win that battle or whatever or you don't even have to win it next turn you draw one card hopefully you can get rid of that card and you are in fury all right so it's a it's a fury maker basically uh for a four cost that's not completely unreasonable whatsoever um it's going to be really interesting to see what people do with this in pyrus uh i didn't pull the picture out go watch ruben's video because there is a how core uh from pyrus that read this card go find that card on ruben's channel watch that video find the how core and you're going to see why you're going to want fury go do it you can go do it now come back but go do that you're going to see why it's insane all right now yes okay this looks gorgeous. It, look at me. This card's gorgeous. You understand? <laughs> I need 10 of these in hex. I don't care if the play set is three. I need 10. I want to fill an entire binder with these boys. He is fantastic looking. I can't, it, it's, in, it's an elite. This one's in hex. He pulled the hex. Ruben's the man, okay? Go sub to Ruben. Go watch his stuff. Titan Trox Ultra. He's good, too. Okay? Five cost. Let's go down. A thousand B power. Cool. Ten attack. Very cool. All right? So we're 10 10 here. Let's go down to the bottom. Victor, if you win, you may energize any number of cards in your hand uncharged. So Trox Ultra was one card. This one, if I got five and I need five more energy, and next turn I don't need anything after that. Boom! Five energy. Just like that. Uncharged. Alright. This is the killer. This is this is what I this it, it, I don't I don't understand. If you control Winton Styles, this gets a thousand B and ten attack. So now you're 2020. If you haven't played with Ventus yet, it's very easy to get Winton out. Now, keeping him out, I'm assuming that once this set drops, killing heroes is going to be second on your priority list basically because Winton is very easy to get out and 2020 is fantastic that's before you play any kind of help maybe you're playing this with Aquas I don't know and you get the whole wave slash tides it's 3000 that's insane that's Titan Dragonoid level Nilius level um, you know that's crazy I, I love this card I love it so much um, the art is fantastic the Ability is fantastic. I love it so much. I just I love looking at it. I need it in my I need I need this card right here. Somebody give it to me, please. Um Yeah, I'm gonna move on because I'll literally stare at this all day. Uh my hair's probably freaking out <laughs> because I'm free I'm freaking out. Here we go. Oh here we go. Alright, so this is what I was talking about. Can I rotate this? Come on, Microsoft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. So Sonic Shields and one cost flip. This is what I was talking about. Stop a Bakugan that's holding a green fist or holding a red fist. It's not faction specific. This is why I think that these are going to be better than those zero costs. Uh, yeah, sure, those are free, but they stop a certain faction. That means if you're playing the one that stops Darkest and you're not playing a Darkest team, that card is now unusable. Now, you could say the same thing about these, but... Green fist, red fist, or there's some that's red shield, blue shield, or green fist, whatever. It's a lot more common to see that than it is to see the faction. I think, in theory, that's what we're that's what we were all collectively watching Ruben's video earlier and just brainstorming everything because it all hit me so fast. I was leaving my card shop and I saw uh, Kodak had made a video on it. Go check Kodak out; he's great. Um, and he he, he was kind of saying the same thing. Um, so it's something to think about moving forward that you don't have to think about the faction necessarily on these flips. You can now think about the cores that they're holding. So, I mean, there's some decks that are all green fists, the Pegatrix decks. It, play this and you can stop the Pegatrix decks, right? Um, so, uh, I don't know. I thought these were interesting. That's why I pulled this out. Uh, there's a bunch of these flips. They're all faction. Uh, everybody has them, I think. From what I can tell, we saw most of them from Ruben's video. Moving on. This thing kills. This thing is awesome. Uh, let me zoom in on the art here. And I, I was freaking out about this a lot more, but I've looked at it for a while now. But the Trox, I had to freak out about. Anyway, Maximus Fangsor Ultra. The Maximus cards look insane, guys. Um, it's a Bakugan Elite, as you can see by him kind of coming out the card art here and stuff. 10 cost. That's a lot. 
I know. Um, but just the idea of this effect is kind of cool, but 10 cost is... Eh, you can't. <laughs> um, but 15B, 10 attack, that's great. If there are 20 more cards in your discard pile, you may play this for free. So who cares about the 10 cost? 20 more cards in your discard pile, that's going to happen almost every game. Unless you're just destroying your opponent and you don't really need this thing anyway. Okay? If you're losing, you know, I, I find myself with 13, maybe 15 cards in my deck sometimes. You get to play this monster for free. Um, I don't know. It's self-explanatory. All right. Uh, I haven't seen uh, Fangs or Ultra's card. I don't know what his normal stats are or anything. Uh, so I couldn't tell you if it's a good starter. It's Auralis. So, you know, maybe. Uh, I have no idea. But being able to play a 10 cost for free that can also fight for you is, I think, really awesome and viable. I don't like to say what thing when things are viable or not because I'm not, you know, researching this stuff every day all day. I have a job, so. <laughs> but uh, first glance, guys, we're getting some good stuff here. All right, uh, moving on. Uh, I think I have a couple more. Mega Punch. All right, so this is a one cost card for Chaos that attaches a Green Fist from the field to an open Bakugan. It is consort for one cost. To give you your Pegatrix ability. And if you don't know about core Pegatrix, if you land on a green fist, he gets a huge buff. When you evolve that Pegatrix, you get an even bigger buff from the green fist. This is a one cost get your buff for Pegatrix. It's, it, it, I mean, you have to play it with Pegatrix. I, I don't know. This makes you not even have to really play Consort in that deck. I mean, you can. Uh, yeah, but why not just play this card? It gives you what you need. Uh, that Pegatrix buff is pretty hard to beat usually. And this is a one cost card. So even if you can get beat, you have a lot of energy left to fight with. Um, it's very cool. And Mega Punch is Gortheon's attack in the show. And I just watched a bunch of the most recent episodes. And it was dope. So I love this card. Uh, it's looking great for Pegatrix players. Uh, is that more? Oh, okay. So we get a, well, a recolor of Titan Dragonoid Ultra. It's a four cost. Strange because... This is a Dragonoid Ultra, uh, but they just took the core Titan Dragonoid art, recolored it to Auralis, but it's an Ultra now. So they, I want to, they got lazy on this one, but I'm going to let it pass. But don't do it again. Because <laughs> Titan Dragonoid looks cool anyway. I mean, he's my character profile or whatever, uh, but... I don't know, it's pretty, it, it's cool, but uh, do something else next time. All right, here we go. Four cost, and it's 1,200 uh, B power, evolves from Auralis, Ultra Dragonoid, uh, 10 attack, good, good. Uh, this counts as all factions, so I pulled this one out to show you because that's interesting. Um, I actually, I have no idea what this like, how much this could help. There's the cards that say if you have for every Ventus. Uh, Bakugan on your team, you get so much B power, so much attack, or minus so much attack. Or the darkest card, there's one that says the same thing. Um, stuff like that. I think that this is going to help because, you know, I'll, as we all know, Auralis Bakugan can kind of fit on your team when you need them to. Uh, so, depending on what the Auralis Dragonoids uh, core stat, or base stats are, is going to tell us how viable this is, and it will be a viable partner for mono decks is what I'm seeing this as um, the problem with this is now those zero cost flips all stop him because he is now all factions so all the zero cost flips that say stop Ventus stop fire stop whatever he now gets stopped by all of those so uh, that's the downside to him so if this becomes super good there's already a counter built into him so it's a very balanced card in that sense uh, but how good it's going to be, no clue, guys. Uh, it is something new. We have not seen this yet. Uh, but I don't know. I think that's it. All right. So um, tell me what you think, guys. Again, please go give Ruben some love. Uh, he's probably uploaded another video by now already. Yep, he's got another one. Look, he's got, 
<laughs> He's got another video of cards. I'm about to go watch it. You go watch it. Give this man some views. This is not enough. Get get this guy up in the thousands. Get his subscribers up in the thousands. He needs it. Go give Ruben some love because he's doing the work. Uh, I felt obliged because I made my start this way, getting stuff early with all this Bakugan stuff. I got all my figures and stuff early. So I feel this man. And if he wants to do the YouTube thing, he's trying right now. And he's giving you all the cards that you need to see. They're fantastic. Go check them out. Go check out that Halcor. Go look at Tertonium. And you'll see what I'm talking about. All right. All right. I'm really hyped for this stuff, guys. If you can't tell, I'm probably sweating. I feel like I'm, my, my face is red and I'm sweating. My hair's all messed up. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Go check out Ruben. Go check out Kodok because he's the one who made me see this stuff. Uh, subscribe to me <laughs> after all that. Uh, subscribe to me. Uh, check out my uh, Matrix mats. They're down in the description. Uh, we, we sell them. We're affiliated with Inked Gaming now. I still got a little announcement video on that coming up. Uh, use... If you're going to order a Matrix mat, when you go bring it to Inked Gaming, make sure you use our coupon code uh, Ragen, or R, RXXC10. And that's going to give you 10% off your order. So it knocks off uh, shipping, knocks off a lot, a lot of that cost uh, for using Inked Gaming. But they have really high quality stuff, guys. That's what I print my mats on. I've made three mats, stuff for Pokemon and, and also my Matrix mat. Uh, I got it from Inked Gaming and they do a great job. So thank you guys so much. Uh, leave a like. Share the video, go check out Ruben, and I will see you next time. See you guys later. Bye.